Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. Uh, we're doing another segment. You know, we are a training center. Uh, we work on problem horses and re basically reschooling, starting colts. Uh, we do a lot of finish work. We have horses, a ring cow horse uh, and Western pleasure horses, but our main diet is problem horses. This one here is, this got some issues going on. It's not real flighty, but nervous. It doesn't like having his, anything around its uh, hindquarters. She's a young mare and I had been just starting to work with her on the ground when I noticed that there were some behaviors that uh, were outside of my comfort zone to deal with. Notably, when I uh, would push her real hard, she'd start doing things like uh, wanted to kick out at me and a couple of times she actually tried to strike out at me. And, uh, you know, she tried to bite me once and I just decided that these were behaviors that were outside of my realm of being able to handle and I knew I needed help quick in order to get better control of her and be safe. This is the first time I've worked with it. I don't usually put boots on the first time because um, we haven't taught them to tie. We don't know if they go into cross ties or hitching pose. We, I don't know if, how comfortable they are with their legs, so we never put anything on them until we kind of get a feel of what's going on. So with that, I'm just going to go ahead and sh and you can use a training stick, a lunge whip. Um, you can drive. See, there's a little burst of uh, emotions, you know, kind of reactive. And, uh, and all I did is asked it to go forward and, and it felt the restraint on them and it's having a little tizzy fit. So the thing is, is not to get involved in the antics, just stay focused. You got to be aware of what the horse is doing so you don't get hurt. But uh, recognize the antics, block the antics. In other words, every time it takes his head and pulls on me, I just block and say, no, you can't do that. Good. I asked for a stop. She's cross-firing again, but... That's okay. And that's her attitude right there, trying to get me. Now, the question is, what do you do about that? Well, I wasn't in a position to correct it, and I only got a couple seconds where I can correct it. So all you do is keep doing what you're doing there, she straightened out. She picked up the left lead in the rear on her own. Now, one of the things is I did talk to her about is her diet. I, I found that the horse is getting green, getting alfalfa and grass hay. And alfalfa doesn't always work for a lot of horses. And uh, especially if they have a tendency to be spirited, in other words, emotional. It could it just add to that flavor. Oh. Pause. So you want to keep diet in mind. See, most people would have stopped by now. And they would have stopped by now and said, well, that's good enough. That's just about as much as we're going to get. But sometimes we have to be, and she took her eyes away from me. We really have to be patient and persistent. You don't fix anything by until you made a significant change. I know this part's boring, but this is the stuff you need to see, the, the persistence, the follow through, what it takes. And anyone can do this, you just got to be comfortable enough to do it and not get involved and sucked into his antics. Now she wants to step in. Now we're becoming friends. You notice her, her eyes are a lot more firmer on me than earlier, okay? And if you notice, at, give me back those eyes. If you don't have, I want both eyes on me. 
Now we're starting to get through some of the fight. She's not still antics, but the fight, the resistance is getting less and less. So if you think about it, that's all we're doing is trying to get through the resistance. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.